Hello everyone, Evan Eric here again to help you with another physics problem. Today we'll be dealing with a Newton's Laws problem. So let's take a look at this problem. Thomas is driving his car and parks on a 30 degree incline, which is the maximum angle that his car can park without the tire sliding down. If the car weighs 1500 kilograms, calculate A the normal force, B the force of static friction stopping the car from sliding, and C the coefficient of static friction between the car and the road. So, to start this problem, let's draw a sketch. So, we have a car parked on a 30 degree incline. So there's our incline, and there's our car. And also, along with our sketch, we need to label our coordinate axes. And since we're on a 30 degree incline, we'll set our axis also on a 30 degree incline. So here will be our positive x going up the hill, and our positive y will just be up. So after we have labeled our coordinate axes, it's time to set up our free body diagrams. Again, we want to set it on the 30 degree angle. So the force that's pushing up on the car from the ground is the normal force. The force acting, holding the car up is the force of static friction. And the force pulling the car down is gravity. That pulls straight down. So this would be all right, but we have our coordinates going in different directions. So we need to break up the forces. So the normal force and the force of static friction will stay the same. However, gravity will be broken up into two different forces, which will be mg sine theta and mg cosine theta. And an easy way to remember which way is cosine and sine. Cosine is in contact, so the car's in contact with the ground, and sine is slide, which is the way it would go down. So, now that we've set up the problem, we can move on to part A, which says find the normal force. So, to find the normal force, we need to write the appropriate Newton's laws. So we want to write the sum of the forces in the y direction equals m-a-y. So if we go back to our force free body diagrams, we can see in our y direction that we have normal force and mg cosine theta. So we'll have normal force minus mg cosine theta equals m-a-y. So then when we plug in our values, we get normal force minus M1500 G 9.8 meters per second squared cosine of 30 degrees and then mass again is 1500 kilograms and the acceleration is zero because the car is not moving up or down in the Y direction. So if we simplify this we get normal force minus 12,730.6 newtons equals zero. So we get normal force is equal to 12,730.6 newtons. So we have solved part A, which is the normal force. Now we want to solve for part B, which is the force of static friction, which is stopping the car from sliding. So we're going to set up similar to the first one, but this time it's going to be the sum of the force is x. Yeah, let's fix that. The sum of the force is x equals m a x. So again, if we look back to our coordinate axes, this time we'll see in the positive direction we'll have force of static, and in the negative direction we'll have mg sine of theta. So we will write force of static minus mg sine of theta is equal to mass acceleration in the x direction. So if we plug in our values, we're trying to solve for a force of static friction, so we'll leave that. Plug in the mass, again 1500. g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And theta is 30 degrees. And finish this up. The acceleration is zero because it is parked on the hill without moving. 
So again, if we simplify force of static friction, that turns out to be 7,350 newtons if you calculate it out. That's equal to zero. So we get the force of static friction is equal to 7,350 newtons. And that's your answer for part B. So now moving on to part C, we want to find the coefficient of static friction between the car and the road. So if we want to find that, we can use the equation the force of static friction equals the coefficient of the static friction times the normal force. And we have already solved for both the force of static friction and normal force. So we will be able to plug this in easily. Let's rearrange this. So we get that equals from what we've already solved over 12,700. 30.6 newtons. And when you solve that out, you get mu of s equals 0.577. So the coefficient of friction between Thomas's car's wheels and the ground is 0.577, and we have finished this problem. Hope this is helpful.